That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen in my life. All right, guys, before we get into the video, I want to apologize to everyone. I know usually we have a much better setup than this, but I traveled across the country to spend time with my family for the holidays. So this is what we're going to be dealing with for the first week of the NBA season. So I'm sorry about that. And also, guys, I want to thank everyone for the fantastic support that y'all have showed on this channel. I mean, we passed a thousand subscribers within the first week of this channel. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. Thank y'all so much for going down there, smashing that like button, dropping comments, letting me know what y'all want to see, as well as subscribing to the channel. I'm going to continue to try to make a video every single day for y'all through this fantasy basketball season. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about the teams that I think we need to be watching for our fantasy football impact on week one. Now, this is going to be based on the teams that have personnel completely changing. This is going to be based on the teams that have new talented players coming in and as well changing coaching staffs. So yeah, there is a lot to talk about here. Let's jump into it with our first team in the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, so we have two main storylines surrounding the Hornets going into week one. And it's going to be, what is the usage that we see with LaMelo Ball? And what are their plans with Gordon Hayward after giving him that massive contract? Personally, I don't have the answer here. I know a lot of people were drafting LaMelo Ball a little bit earlier than I was this fantasy season. But we actually saw LaMelo Ball look pretty good in the preseason in terms of knocking down those three-point shots. That was his main critique in the NBA draft was his awkward shooting form and if that was going to transition and allow him to be a high percentage shooter. Well, obviously, it was a very small sample in the preseason. We really cannot take too much away from that. But what we need to see is we need to see the minutes be there for LaMelo as well as that very high usage rate. And we want to see how Gordon Hayward is moving off ball or if they decide to put the ball in his hands at a higher rate than he saw in Boston. But yeah, this is going to be a very intriguing team. One of the most boring teams in the NBA over the past decade. But maybe LaMelo Ball can come in here and provide just some swagger to an offense that really needs it. So this is going to be our first team. And our second team is going to be the Detroit Pistons. Okay, I know the Detroit Pistons are another bad team that we really don't want a ton to do with. But right now, they have 12 new players coming into this roster. I mean, I have no idea what to expect in terms of their rotation. We know they have Derrick Rose. We know they have Blake Griffin. We know, barring that those two players stay healthy, they should be seeing decent minutes in this team. And on top of that, they should be seeing high usage rates in their offenses. Blake Griffin should be great on the boards. Derrick Rose should be providing you a decent amount of points scored. But beyond that, we really need to see what the minutes are going to look like for the other players in this starting lineup because this team is going to have a decent amount of possessions to go around. There are going to be shots to be had in this offense. And while we don't expect this team to be efficient with those shots, just knowing that fantasy basketball is completely different than fantasy football. I mean, in fantasy football, you can pretty much take a few teams in the NFL every single year and just erase them from your memory. Act like they are not there, like the New York Jets. But here with fantasy basketball, because we know that players are going to be getting minutes, shots are going to be taken, and points are going to be scored, regardless of how bad the team should be. I mean, the Detroit Pistons are going to be an intriguing unit just to see how everything shakes out. All right, so now our next team, a team that I am very intrigued by, is going to be the Houston Rockets. Okay, clearly there are so many moving pieces right now. James Harden, we don't know what to expect. We just had that report come out about James Harden just doing whatever he wants in Houston. Obviously, that does not have a major impact on his fantasy value. But honestly, I am kind of concerned by the picture of James Harden where he looks like he's wearing about 30 t-shirts. I mean, he looked like Jokic at the very beginning of the 2019 NBA season. But anyway, with the Houston Rockets, I mean, they have a new coaching staff coming in. They have 10 guys leaving this roster, as well as Russell Wilson going to the Washington Wizards and John Wall coming in. Clearly, we have not seen John Wall play on the NBA court in a very long time for a decent stretch. And at the same time, last time we saw John Wall, it's not like 
he was a dominant player as he was at the peak of his NBA career. So here it's going to be very intriguing. If we see James Harden stay on this roster, I expect the usage rate to be extremely high as well as him just going out there and providing us those defensive statistics that I know so many people overlook when talking about James Harden because we all see the clips. We all see him just letting plays go on defense, letting his guy go and get the easy bucket. But at the same time, I mean, he stuffs the stat sheet with blocks and steals. So it's something that we know we can count on with James Harden as long as he is in this offense. So that's going to be something to follow. Really hope that they continue to push the pace of play, even with a new coaching staff coming in though. All right. So now talking about pace of play, one of the most interesting fantasy basketball rosters this past season was the New Orleans Pelicans. I mean, you wanted pretty much every starting player that was going to get a significant amount of minutes for this Pelicans team this past season in that they were going to be one of the fastest paced teams in the entire NBA. The possessions were going to be so high that we knew they were going to be putting shots up. They were going to be getting rebounds. I mean, really a team that you wanted to chase, but now they have a completely new coach coming in where we don't necessarily know what the minutes are going to be for the rotation as well as we don't know how many possessions this team should see every single game. I think we are going to see right away in the first week I'm actually going to be going to the New Orleans Pelicans and the Tampa Bay Raptors first game opening night should be a ton of fun. But anyway, they also have a ton of young talent. Obviously, we all know Lonzo Ball, Zion Williamson. Zion looks so good in his preseason performance. Obviously, it's going to be very hard to take that and stretch it out. In my opinion, I think a couple of these New Orleans Pelicans players were overdrafted this fantasy basketball season because of the change of coaching staff where we don't necessarily know if we're going to be seeing the possessions be as high as they were a year ago, but still something that we are wanting to monitor, still something that we are wanting to check out. Okay, so now our next team is going to be the Oklahoma Thunder. The reason that we are including this team on the list is really they have 10 new guys in this rotation. I mean, really, it's going to be hard to project until we see exactly what the minutes breakdown are going to be. The only guy that I am confident in is going to be Shea Alexander, who stayed in this offense. We have other guys coming in like a Al Horford, who I was actually higher on than most this fantasy basketball season, just because we can kind of assume that his minutes are going to be through the roof with not that many core assets for this Thunder roster. Going to be something to monitor, as well as our next team coming out here in the Brooklyn Nets. Obviously, the Brooklyn Nets are one of the most intriguing teams for fantasy basketball leagues this season. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and more importantly, I think Steve Nash as well as Mike D'Antoni. So yeah, the Brooklyn Nets should be one of the best fantasy basketball teams Very excited to see their pace of play. Very excited to see how deep they go in their rotation. But yeah, thank you guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really hope y'all got something from it. As always, go down there, drop that like, subscribe to the channel, leave that comment. It really, really helps us out. And yeah, that's all I got for y'all. I hope I'll see y'all with the video tomorrow.